You're watching the Anchor News Network. I'm Naomi, and you're watching the Anchor News Network. Congratulations to Tara Saunders for being the Anchor News Student of the Week. Wrestling team faces Waters Middle at 5 p.m. There is a YME meeting tomorrow on Zoom. This is Miss Logan with the Anchor News Network. I am proud to be here with Mr. Albert Watson of Norfolk Academy, Dance Master here. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Watson. You're very welcome. Good to be here with you. So Mr. Watson is a treasure in the Hampton Roads community. He is a world-renowned dancer, teacher. So Mr. Watson, first, can you just tell us a little bit about your, your dance background? So I um, was born in Norfolk, Virginia, and I started, I was dancing all my life, really, all my life, my uh my parents had me dancing. And um, in junior high, I joined the Modern Dance Club at the campus of the junior high school. I just loved dancing. You know, Motown pulled me in. And then, of course, um, I win every dance contest. But I really loved dancing. We never knew that I could make it as a profitable career. But somewhere after college, I realized I wanted to try dancing. So I went to uh, the Ailey School. And the first audition, they said, you're really smart, but you need some ballet class. So I came back home and studied ballet for two years. And uh, went and auditioned again and made the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Alvin was at the time. The beauty is that Alvin Ailey uh, was really good at going to different cities and finding special students. Mm -hmm. And so I joined the company with no idea that I'd ever make it to a principal dance because uh, Judith Jamison was dancing, John Parks, uh, Hector Mercado, all these wonderful greats of the company. And um, we got to Paris, and he, uh, I was fifth understudy, and I was in. So I'm doing what I love doing. Um, left Italy, uh, went to New York Conservatory, left there, went to Germany, came back to the area, and so here I am. Here you are, still teaching. Yes. So what have been the main influences in your teaching and your art? Uh, the main influences have been, well, there's a woman named... Uh, Evelyn Hyman in junior high, who was a major influence um, for me. Uh, all about stamina, all about being truthful and honest. And then Norfolk State, I was there for three years, Miss Inez Howard, same thing. She was really good about um, integrity and in movement, uh, being honest, rehearsing, uh, presenting something with um, excellence all the time. It was all about excellence. Then I went to, uh, and then uh, of course Alvin Ailey, and of course people like Elio Pomari and Donald McHale, and uh, Tally Beatty, all those appropriate, all these, these greats who demanded the very best. They demanded, they demanded every part of your soul. Alvin would say, "A part of you should die every time you're on stage." So that level of uh, commitment, total commitment beyond technique, your body, soul, your whole spirit. So on stage, he said, you'd be phenomenal because you invested everything. And he would say, what are you saving it for? So they were all that influences. And also as a professional dancer, uh, I had a teacher in your conservatory called uh, Vladimir Dukadowski, same thing. I want you to be real, transparent. That's really hard because you're very vulnerable. But those, but, but my uh, my success, my career with, with those kind of coaches, Dudley Williams and uh, Clive Thompson, who, and just Jamison, who demanded the very best. They wanted every part of you. Mm. Because then when you got on stage, then of course it was, it, it, you weren't just marking, but you were giving everything. So part of your exhaustion was, beyond just being physically exhausted, mentally and spiritually exhausted, but you've given your, your whole self. That's beautiful. And you've been influenced so many um, students in this area and yes. that are teachers now and doing great things. And, and definitely an influence on me as well. Yeah, yeah. So growing up in Norfolk, what experience did you had specifically that led you to the arts? Anything specifically in this community? Um, to be honest, well, like I said, I was always, 
could always dance. I mean, I, mean, I, had, I had an aunt who would go to like uh, dancing and teach me all the dances. So I was always good at dancing. And my, my father had this thing when he had guests over, come out Junior and dance, right? So I, I, they would bring you up to dance, whatever. And then there were dance contests. I was always dancing. But I think they saw it more as a recreational or something. I found out later that, that I had a kinetic intelligence. I could pick up any dance, whatever. There's a guy named Howard Gardner that I learned later. Out of kinetic intelligence, I could pick up movement. So, uh, so I did it in junior high. I loved it. Um, f- true story. I uh, was good in biology and won every science contest and got on stage with the modern dance group and danced some primitive number, and the crowd went mad. Wow. And suddenly everybody loved me as a dancer. So then I went to high school. There wasn't any dance group, so I, I joined a group called the Tower to Dance Guild, professional group. Went auditioning to that. Um, Dance there, left them into Norfolk State. And even then, people kept saying, you're really good, you're really good, but no one uh, thought about it as a career. Mm, mm. And I had one of those epiphanies one day that I said, I'm going to go to New York City and try, and uh, people said, don't go, because dance doesn't make any money, and nobody from Norfolk ever made it. Mm. And for some reason, I heard all these elderly people say, if I could do it all over again. And I said, I, want, I don't ever want to come to the end of my life and say that. So... Um, I had great teachers who did it, people who saw me. And uh, when I went to Ailey to audition, I still thought, okay, I'm going to try it. But, but as a career, I never thought that you could make it. As a matter of fact, when I joined the company, I asked them, I said, well, uh, do I have to get a job? They said, no, no, there's no job. This is, this is the job. This is the job. I was just at Green. I didn't know. Uh, but uh, the most incredible life being who you were born to be. I thought I was born to be a dancer. And so... Uh, years later here that I'm teaching doing what I really love doing you know I think we're all created for a purpose I think I found my purpose and that's just incredible it, yes it is it absolutely is so we have a new dance program at our school what advice would you give to a student taking formal dance for the very first time uh, the first thing I would say is trust your teachers Trust your teachers because the reason they started it was because somebody had vision, and um, the thing is, that, and also when you come in, be teachable. You must be teachable. That's the thing. I think a lot of uh, talented people are not teachable. You know, there's a trust and a partnership between the teacher and the student. So, I know I was always a good student. Even with Alvin, I was always a good student. Uh, I took corrections well. Dance is a very critical uh, art form. You must be able to take take criticism constructively but also be teachable um, and also do your very very best so when you come to this door with your teacher you can give your very very best every time not one time but every time you come through the door that's great advice that they can use in the dance program and in every single class that they go to yeah, yeah. that's wonderful so my last question is what legacy would you like to leave uh, I, you know, I thought about this I was uh, the funny thing I was on the plane one time going to uh, Jamaica Jamaica? It was, no, it was Jamaica. And one of these prop planes about to And I thought, what would you be? Uh, the thought hit me. I said, I want to be known as that I was kind. Mm. I was a kind person. And that I, uh, uh, hopefully, that I uh, created an environment for folks to learn. And I guess every other, I'm, I'm meeting people all the time who remember my kindness. Mm. You know, that I was a good teacher, but also I was kind. A lot of teachers are unkind. And also that I was understanding and that I modeled integrity. I think those are, those are that's all I want is that, that, I, that I was kind and that I modeled integrity. I, I didn't just talk about integrity, but I modeled integrity. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Mr. Watson. You're this has been an honor. You're and this is Ms. Logan with Anchor News Network. She's the best student ever. <laughs> <laughs> you are.
Okay, Admirals, remember, at Craddock Middle School, we're anchored in excellence and sailing towards achievement. S. Strive for excellence. A. Accept responsibility. I. Inform staff of unsafe behaviors. And L. Lead by example. Sail away, Admirals. And these are your school announcements.